Hey everyone, Lance here. As you know, the new Windows uh, 8.1 is coming out. There's a couple new features that I think are really great here, and hopefully you'll agree. So, real quickly, one feature in this video, and there will be a line of uh, videos with other features that are coming out that I thought were kind of cool that I was a little upset didn't exist before, but now we're given a bigger chance to uh, do more, really. So, in this video, we're just going to show you how you can get rid of the Microsoft uh, apps, the Metro or Modern UI or whatever you want to call them. I really don't care. They're there, and I don't want them. They're big, they're bulky, and there's always updates on them, which is good. Give me a different update. I don't want an update for the music and whatnot. Let's be real here. Who wants these Microsoft apps? No offense, there might be sports people, map people, but come on. I don't, look at me. So let's go to uh, the desktop, or uh, I guess some people are calling it the desktop. Obviously it's not, it's a start screen. I call it the glorified start menu. Uh, and that's really because uh, I don't like to fight. Okay, but let's go ahead and do this, okay? So, loading it up, right? We have something like music, right? I have my own music, I use Groove Shark. It's in a browser, I know what's going on, I can monitor the headings, etc., right? So, let's go ahead and right click music. Now, as you know, there's a feature here called uninstall. We've had that in the previous version, right? Now watch. You can actually install it, and it removes completely from your PC. How do we know? Type in music, and it's completely gone. Uh, it's, it's no longer here, right? It normally would show up here. Do you see it? No. So let's say we have something like games, right? Let's pin that to start. Uh, we'll bring that over here, right? So we right-click it. We can uninstall and actually uninstall it. But now let's say we want to get a, a couple of Microsoft items, right? So we can go uninstall and actually uninstall them from the system. Now, I'm not going to get rid of those two because I make apps for that. But uh, yeah, I just thought that was pretty cool. We can actually uninstall them from the system where before you just kind of didn't really uninstall them. Uh, you are only really technically able to unpin them and they were kind of hidden, but now you can actually get rid of them completely And so when you go to another computer, it won't download that app um, So that's all I basically wanted to tell you so uh, That's it guys